Hi everyone, welcome to Toby's Real Life Skills with Toby. I'm Toby, as you know already. And in today's video, I just want to talk about an option what I want to use to charge my solar generator. Just in case I do not have the time, I do not have sunshine, or uh, I just want to use it at night and my batteries are down. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, maybe it helps you, maybe you have a different use case than I do. Um, it's just to charge batteries or whatever you want to charge with it. I'm using this charger here which um, has a 20 amp input and I can easily just, it has a wide range uh, from 0 to 24 volts. It does exist obviously in different, different, many different sizes and different amounts of voltages and amp hours as well for charging. So this one has a uh, 0 to 24 volts. My batteries are usually 12 volt batteries, what I'm using um, for my solar generator. And uh, yeah, this one is just in case I need to charge my batteries very quick. What I did, I'm um, using a conventional plug, normal household plug is connected to the power supply, ground, neutral and line. I'm not an electrician, so I taught myself and I also did some research, so it's very important that you do this before. Um, if you want to copy this one-to-one, -one, um, it will work perfectly. What I also have two wires, a positive and a negative. I can connect more to it, but I only want to use it for this one purpose. They do, that's what I like about it, um, come out and being able to use those XT60 connectors. So in my case, I'm using this little adapter which I built. It's also an XT60 connector and it has those MC4. Um, so it means when I plug it in, I can connect it to my solar charge controller and I can charge it from there. We have the normal power supply, the normal power supply connected uh, through line, neutral and ground. We also have connected a positive wire. It's a 10 gauge wire and a negative wire, also 10 gauge. It's only 20 amp, which this, this power supply can charge so with those. This one, what I like about it, it makes it very versatile for me. I created this adapter, connected it to an XT60, same on the other side. I, I could easily just, you know, have some clamps attached to it and then plug it in, but I can just also easily just use those XT60 connector and plug it in. For me, it's a pretty simple, pretty great setup. There we go. I can see now I can change the voltage. Right, that's a great thing about this power supply. So I can get it down to 12 volts if I need to. I can get it up, up to 24 volts. Let's just measure it really quick. We set it to 17.5 volts. So 17.5 volts. And let's see what the output of this power supply will be. 17.6.3. I only thought it might be interesting for you if you want to charge your batteries if you have any purpose for that. So yeah, that's that's all I wanted to show show you in case you need to charge your batteries. But I'm just doing what I learned and what I figured out, so maybe it helps you. Um, the links will be all in the description in case you wanna um, do that similar to me. What we're having here is my solar generator. There's a 12 volt lithium acid uh, battery underneath. So there we go. I'm having my power supply here on the side right now. So I'm plugging it in to power and I'm connecting my two wires to my output here on this side. So now what's happening, um, those connect straight to the solar charge controller over here and the solar charge controller is connected to my phone right now. Uh, so here we can see that it slowly starts. And by the way, the battery is pretty full, so it's going to stay at absorption. But that's it. That's, that's pretty much the magic. And power supply here on this side. I set it to 18.1 volts. And uh, it is charging with 18.1 uh, volts. It's just 1.2 amp it's going into in there because it's in absorption mode, so it's, it's pretty full already. I can just change with the XT60. The plug, I, I don't have an, another adapter right now, but I want to make another one, which has the XT60 and connected some clamps. So I can just plug, clamp it on here on here or just on a separate battery just for I'm um, going to straight to battery. And thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you soon. Cheers.